Well, the next few minutes, I'm going to give you some great tips and techniques on how to get a great start in a 40-yard dash, 60-yard dash, or 100-yard dash. No matter what sport you play, boy or girl, you're going to be tested in the 40-yard dash, and it's vital that you get a great time because it'll open up eyes. Ask me. I'm talking from first experience there. What I'm going to tell you is that if you get a great 10-yard start, a great burst of energy from the start, you're going to have a great 40 time. So a lot of technique goes into the start. I see so many kids, they just go down, they get into position, and then they get here, and then they just start. First of all, their technique is not great. Mentally, they're not ready to run. And both of those things are very vital. So let's just go through a few tips that I have learned over the years that have helped me have great 40 times. The first thing I want you to do is I want to put your left foot, is figure out, first of all, figure out if you're left-footed or right-footed and uh, putting your foot forward. How do you do this? When you go up to do a layup uh, in basketball, do you jump off your left foot or are you stronger off your right foot? Whatever one you're stronger, put that one in front. Now, you could be a one-foot jumper or you can be a two-foot jumper. Do you jump better off one foot or you jump better off two feet? If you're a one-foot jumper, you put, you put that first like this. If you're a two-foot jumper, you put them back like this together like a Ben Johnson would uh, from the Canadian team in the Olympics when he set the world record. He was a two-foot jumper, so he came out with two feet. First thing I'm going to talk about is the one-foot start. Now, I'm better at one foot, so we're going to... I'm better at this way, so I'll, I'll do this one and the two-foot one. I'll just briefly go through. What I want you to do is with your left foot, get it right up to the line. Let's say this yellow stripe right here is the starting line. Get it all the way up there. A lot of kids will just get up to the starting line, put their hand there, and their foot is 8 to 10 inches behind the line. Right now, I'm already 8 to 10 inches ahead of you. And in a 40-yard dash, that's a lot. Put your left foot down on the line, put your right foot down on the line, get, sit here, crouch comfortably, so you're very comfortable, so you can move this arm like this, and put the left hand, or left arm on your left knee. Now you're mentally getting yourself ready. Take that deep breath. Now this is the very, very important part, is at, all in one motion, you take your left hand and you bring it back as you're leaning way forward. Now, if I take my right hand off the track, I'm going to fall straight, straight down on my face. That's what you want to do. So it's, so it's like this. You're comfortable. Lean way over and cock your arm in this, in this fashion. Now, most kids, like I said before, were 8 to 10 inches back here, put their hand here, and just went from here. Okay, now look at me. I'm 8 to 10 inches farther than you, plus... I'm leaning way forward, I'm a good foot there. So I'm almost two feet farther than the guy next to me that doesn't have real good technique. Two feet in a 40 yard dash is a lot. So, get in this position again. Your other foot now should not be behind the foot, not behind your left foot, should not be straight. Girls have a tendency to do this a lot. They get these feet too much lined up. Get them shoulder width apart, and in a comfortable position. Don't get it too far back and don't get it too far close. Real comfortable uh, and only, you know, each individual know which is comfortable for them. Now, when you lean forward and you come out, your first step will be with your right foot. Do not put it too short and do not put it too long. If you put it too short, you won't get enough power out of there and your start will be not as quick. If you put it too long, watch what happens when I put my foot too long. What's that? I'm standing straight up. That's no good. In a 40-yard dash, it probably takes me a good eight yards before I'm standing straight up in, full spin, in, in a full sprint. You want to come out low so it would look something like this. Very comfortable step. Not too long, not too short. Better short than long. Now, with this left arm, this is very important here. This left arm here, when you come back and you lean forward, really throw this arm forward so it would be like this. Bam! In this position. Not out here. Don't keep it here. Bam! Right there. Should be almost up to your head level when you're coming out. So it should look something like this. Now, I think this is the most important part of your start. After all those techniques and tips that I just gave you, 
This is the most important thing. Mentally, in my mind, I know I'm going to whoop that person next to me. Okay? So in my mind, I'm getting that starting block, and I'm saying, okay, I'm going to whoop them. I'm going to beat them. I'm going to beat them down. This is what I'm thinking to myself. Okay? You don't have to be talking like that, but this is what I'm thinking. And you're just going to explode. Mentally, you're telling me I'm going to explode out of these blocks. I'm going to be so fast, so quick, that it would look something like this on your first step. Bam! That's the way you want to come out of the blocks. So mentally, you are just flying out of the blocks. Now, briefly on the two, two feet, what I like to call the jump start, Ben Johnson start. You get comfortable in your position here, the two feet, get down like this, like you would, almost squatting. And what you want to do is get down like this. Again, when you come up and, he, the, the, and you're set like this, lean forward. So if both of my arms get taken out, I'm going to fall flat on my face. Okay? That lean forward is very important because it forces you to come out low. Lean forward like this, and what you want to do is bam! That's your position again. Okay? Not too short of a step, not too long of a step. Again, very comfortable, but this is vital that you throw that arm forward because what it's doing is telling me mentally, mentally you're firing out of there and you're going to beat this guy next to you. And you're going to get a great time in the 40 yard dash or whatever sprint you run. So it would look something like this on your first step. Bam! That's how it would look. So I hope these tips and techniques help you and your, you know, if you're going to go on to the next level, college, professional, whatever sport you do, the 40-yard dash, people are going to look at that. And you must get a great time because it helped me, believe me.